TBI, which is acquired brain injury. This treacherous piece of road is where Takaha Chase's life changed forever. Yeah, I think that's why the car goes. Yeah, I think so too. This place for me is a turning point for me because, you know, this is where I had my car crash, you know, and um, really, this place is pinnacle for me now. I'm never gonna forget it, never. Twenty-one-year-old TK wasn't wearing a seatbelt. The impact of the head-on collision caused extensive brain damage that left him in a coma for six weeks. When TK finally woke up, he was transferred here to ABI rehabilitation for six months of intensive therapy. He had to relearn almost everything. Yes, yeah, so I how to think, how to speak, and how to walk. I want to walk out of here, but I can't walk yet. You only get one chance to live life, and I blew it because I had a car crash. Basically, um, I feel that I've had my second chance now. And um, I'm on my second chance of life. Yeah, you said you can come in. This is like a bloody comedy show. <laughs> right. <laughs> can you give me up? I'll help me to get up anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh. okay. Leaving ABI was like, yeah! Woo! Like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, wow, it's the outside world. Being without the full-time support. And for this next two years, I support what he needs to move forward. What help you need me to go into the lifts? Okay. Yes, you can. Remember, right past your elbow. Yeah. I kind of feel like the same person that I was. You know, I feel at peace with everything. I mean, emotionally, I'm still the same person. TK, please be mindful of your walking down yes. through your... Yes. Yeah, OK, yes, all you want, but do it. I do get upset sometimes that I can't walk, that I can't, that I'm still using a walker. Right. Well, my mum is um, right. helping me every day. Uh, you can turn on that tape. I can't go to the toilet by myself. I can't shower myself. I mean, I can't even get myself in the bed. Hands down, TK. Yeah. 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 Oh, he totally strives towards independence, and I absolutely support that. Do you want to try and get it, TK, no. please? Yes. Do it. You've got to try. See? It was easy. There. Thank you. I am vigilant at the holistic approach that we will work together and keep transparent and keep communicating between one another 
four TK centuries, always referring back to him about his dreams, about his goals. I don't think you realise how much you can do. I've been coming here with you for a while and um, you've always got me to do your sushi and you can actually use the tongs, look at me, and you can reach up and get it for yourself. You can turn the lid in the soy sauce and put it in the bowl. So from now on, that's how it will be. Because it's awesome to do those things for yourself. Hey, cool, awesome. So for you two, hey, when we first came back, and our first time, remember that first time we went into the supermarket? Like, being back in the community, people, how was that? The first time I was at an ABI, um, it was really good because I got to see my mates again, who I ain't seen since Mason. Well, since I, I went to ABI, and um, yeah, it was good seeing them, and, and it's good being out in the community again. I mean, man. I was just gone for ages. Yeah. Can you take off my glasses? Yeah. <sighs> hey. Hey, bro. Hey, dude. Hey, hey Summer. Hey. How are you? Hi. Good. I, um, I saw you only a couple of days before you actually. Yeah. You came up, yeah, I was sitting in the car outside the takeaways and you came up and said hi. Oh. Yeah, you're like, you're asking me how my new job was and stuff. So what are you doing now, man? Oh, I'm doing an apprenticeship. Um, Bit of welded, which oh, is engineering, okay. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. Where are you doing that? Uh, Sierra High. Yeah. DBI causes a person to become self obsessed. So to remember to ask questions about the other person because they get locked about their accident and this is what happened and did you know this? And people actually do know that and it will be the thing that will will injure and stunt the growth with relationships and friendships. Yeah. I'll let you carry awesome. On. Yeah. Lovely to yeah. see yeah. you. Oh, man. I'm so glad that you're all right. Yeah. 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 Oh, good all to right. see you. Yeah, yeah see you guys. Yes. Yeah. Good job, man. Selling my truck, so I must do it. Yes, yes. We've been at Beach Haven Holiday Park now for probably about a month. It's emergency housing. This area is our home and has been paramount to Te Kaha's reconnecting and reigniting and remembering of who he is as a whole person. Man, no offense, everyone, but this is for ages we haven't done that. Now, I know my life is different to all my mates now because I had a car crash. Yeah. Now, I don't really care how my mates see me. And you know, I, I just think, you know, do what you do, and I'll do what I do. Happy recovery. <laughs> Happy recovery. every morning. Oh, he'd tell me he'd kill me and slit my throat. To deal with laziness as opposed to a brain injury is very different. Mm. And I won't tolerate that. I just want to walk away. I mean, really? I have parents who go, oh, no, I need to get the mark. But why? Hey. You're actually dealing with a, like a brat of a child, oh, you know? And the persistence to not buy into their behaviour is the key, really. So it's, it can be a bit lonely. And if it means TK gets well, you yeah. know.
It is the part that TBI survivors talk about, the grief of losing oneself, which I think that Tika has a handle on, but it comes out in ways that he's not aware of. The short-term memory loss, the lack of gatekeeping around the things that he sees out in the community or with me. He, yeah, he struggles a lot. I'm going to talk to Hariki Plains College yeah, about wearing your seatbelt and, and about having a brain injury and having a car crash. My name is Vanessa Chase. I am the proud mum of TK Chase. All I can say, please wear your seatbelt, because I didn't wear it on that day. And I'm, I'm disappointed that I didn't, because if I did, I wouldn't even be in this situation. Because the brain has been damaged so much, you have to learn everything again. You have to learn how to open your eyes, how to swallow. Uh, as you saw, I had to help him come from here to here. Um, he needs help with showering toileting, moving from one place to the other. He needs help to get into the car. He needs help to, to process simple things. The bad thing about being an ABI, because I have no fear now because I had a car crash, um, what I did is I asked out every chick there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sometimes I asked out a chick like six times. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't even remember. <laughs> Definitely for brain injury, I believe that um, TK can get uh, the best recovery that he wants. Carl, thank you for having us. <laughs> it's so hard to yeah, walk. you can do it. You can do it. I just love. Being around TK. It's so hard. You're doing really well. I think he's he's just got something to give. Whether it's more talks to young people, whether it's talks about surviving TBI in the most positive way that one could do that. I appreciate life way more than I used to. Like I, w I could have died in my career site, but I didn't. You know, and I'm thankful for life right now. You know, I'm thankful. I appreciate every day. Right. Let's go home. The big truck. Terry Tansy has been at ABI Rehabilitation for three months. First thing we're going to do, we're going to hop in the car and go home. <laughs> yep. When you get home, what's the first thing you're going to um, do? Um, well... Oh, no, I think I might just go for a little walk around the place and have a look. He's now going home for a weekend visit with his wife, Andrea. OK, we're going through a hallway, heading to Coco. Worst case um, would be that he tries to do too much. Yeah, tries to paint the house or something like that. Um, but I think he'll be, he'll be good. OK. All right. This is our kettles. Um, this is our house. We're home. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Ed. Hello, mate. Hello. Terry has only recently recalled who he is, and Andrea is keen to see how he copes. Don't fall over anything. Nah. It's triggering a lot of memories. Everything's where I parked it. I built a few buggies in here, eh? Mm. Yeah. This much loved father and grandfather suffered a brain injury when the truck he was driving jackknifed, throwing him from the cab onto the road. Um, Can't they stand up? 
For a long time, he was stuck in a post-traumatic amnesia and a delirium. The early prognosis wasn't good. Are you ready? We're ready. Good. But remarkably, he's now turned a corner. How's that, guys? Is that right? I see Terry in the mirror. The guy that used to have a truck accident, but he's coming right now, so... Off the foam cushion, turn around. Even his sense of humor's back. Okay, well done, mate. How long have been married to Andrea? Um, 26th of May, 1974. There you go. We got married. There you go, I remember. <laughs> that was a good innings, eh? Yeah. So you just remembered that? Yep. What's it feel like? Feels good. <laughs> Feels great. You want your cup, Andrea? Yeah, do you remember which one it is? Yep. This is your cup. You happy with that? Yeah. OK, cool. OK. They can talk to me. <laughs> OK, can't wait to do some mowing when we get the lawnmower out, just to prove that you can mow. Yeah. The biggest worry with a short visit home is that he'll push himself too far. Every time I ask him if he's OK, he just goes, I'm all right. And I go, well, that's not really what I want to know. I want to know if you've got pain or if, you've, you know, if you're feeling tired, because I said it's no good just saying you're OK when you're not. I said to him, he's lost his inner strength and he needs to just build that up. I had to stop mowing long, otherwise I'd get tired and fatigue. It just make me tired, so it sort of be the right time to stop. So um, that's why I gave it to Andrew to use. Yeah. You thought it was OK? Yep. It's nice stuff, right, isn't it? Yep. It's very smooth, isn't it? Yeah. It gets a bit noisy. Did you want me to go and cook a pike lot? Yeah, probably better. You mean to have a drink too, eh? Yeah. Right. It's not so much a specialty, it's just something I love doing. It's just satisfying for me. And I'll just make it my way. I think that's where um, plain flat, yeah. Don't you measure that by cup? No. No, okay. No, I'll just show it in there. Okay. I'll just make it happen. Just out of control. Okay. Is it? Am I allowed to say told you so if it doesn't work? You can say whatever you like. Okay. I'll say go away. Just jealous. Just jealous? Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, it's glue. It's glue. <laughs> glue pipe clips. I always talk to her like this. She loves it. <laughs> well, it's OK. Is it hot enough? This morning, he said, when I woke up, I was in a new world. And I went, that is just an amazing way of explaining how he felt. He felt that when he, when he started getting clarity, that he felt like he was in a new world, that everything was different. And I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> I thought, wow, you know. This is just lovely sitting here eating these. Is that? Yeah, it's just lovely to be at home. Mm. I spoke to a friend of mine that's a registered nurse up here. She said just make sure that they've got everything in place because there's not so many occupational therapists and physios and all that sort of thing up here. So she said make sure that you can get all the things um, in place before you come up. You've got to make me pudding too, remember? Yeah, I'll make you pudding. When? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. yeah, I'll make you. Yeah, I'm gonna tomorrow. make I'm making you ginger pudding. I promise you that. He's still the same Terry, but just a little bit different. He was probably always that, but he was so busy, you know, he worked such long hours and, and that, and then on the weekends he'd be working on the house, so whereas now you know, it's almost like you're getting to know each other again, sort of thing. It's weird. It's yeah. Um, it's just good to be home and give you a little bit of a cuddle again. Yeah. OK, you enjoyed that? Yeah. That's good. That's... And I think it's nice as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen-year-old Jared Church had a freak heart attack at basketball practice. He died for eight minutes. 
During this time, his brain was starved of oxygen, leaving him with a hypoxic brain injury. At first, he couldn't breathe, stand up, or feed himself. He couldn't even recognize faces. Where is, where is Jay? Jared is one of six children, and his big brother Jason has been by his side for the entire time. Your heart rate just started getting up a little bit. Jared's allowed to go home for the weekend. There they are, boy. It's just going to be good to be home. We are planning tonight to go to the rec centre where the incident happened, just to show them how well we're doing. And tomorrow we're planning to have a barbecue just for everybody who helps support. The main risk of Jared's heart rate not being able to reach 150, they don't want him to be at risk of maybe having another incident. He will have to take regular breaks and time out away from other people while we're at home, just to get his heart rate back to, to normal, I guess. Oh, what basket? Since he's been gone, there's been something missing, and of course, yeah, it's it's him and Jason. So having him here, it's it's like a bit of normality. Yeah, the kids are loving it. I'm loving it. It's, it makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> a tracheotomy caused scar tissue around his vocal cords. That's left him with noisy breathing. Oh. Yeah, Jared does get a bit annoying when people ask about his breathing. More new people that haven't really cared for him. Jared. Mm. Breathe. Mm. What does it say now? Mm. Mm. One, nine. Mm. one, one, nine. His heart is still very weak so any excitement or exertion could trigger another heart attack. His oxygen saturation can be no lower than 94. 96, it was 96. I need him to keep remembering to breathe while he's standing up and moving around. So I think when he concentrates, he um, sort of holds his breath and Although he doesn't remember, this is where Jared had his heart attack. Look at you, hey! You're looking good, my friend. So good to see you back, hey! So good to see you. I hear you've been getting cheeky. Yeah. How you feeling? Yeah. On that Friday night, and you were uh, here on that Friday night. Can you just come to the stage area? Nice. All right. So let's grab a seat down here, guys, and then we'll get into it. You had played a game already, and then uh, we had that last run, which is the run where the college boys come in. The thing was that you were on the court for quite a while. Yep. And we played two two halves. And when we finished the game, um, you you walked over to the side, and when you sat down on the chair, um, you collapsed and fell onto the floor, and then Lance called out, Willie, there's something wrong. What happened was that the staff and Lance tried to wake you up. They tried to say, hey, Jared, hey, Jared. When that happened, I went and called for the ambulance to come. The staff called the ambulance. And then straight away. All oh, good boy. You tell us when to stop. Lance and the staff member here, Tim, 
started to do CPR on you to help you through that. The ambulance came and then the ambulance took over. And uh, I'm just thinking with the boys who are sitting here, they were quite shocked about what happened. And I'm just going to ask them if they want to share about what they saw. I just woke up, yeah. but then it was quite a while, I was just lying down, started going pale. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was just praying, eh? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, scared. Scared, eh? Yeah. Had you seen anything like that before? No, eh? No. I've always been close with them. Yeah. It just scared me. Yeah. Like... I was so proud of the guys because I said, you know, that's what Papa is about. You know, that's who our people are. And we shared in this. So you remember, this is your house too. Uh, Papa Kura Rec is where we all are. And uh, we're waiting for you to come back when you're ready. You know, a little bit at a time, mate. No need to run yet. I'm going to take no fun. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Jared's being good. He's you probably won't want to go back. Yeah, it's good for us. Our emotional well-being. Just having support to keep us going while we're out there. Our journey that we've been through with Jared through the past couple of months, it's been... It's been very hard. We love you also very much and um, thank you for the continuous support you show us every day. Um, yeah, this is just to say thank you to you all. Thank you very much. I love you all. He had heaps of things he wanted to do. He wanted to be a famous basketball player. That was his dream, and I suppose it's just maybe not being able to do them the way he wanted. Who knows? You know, he's proved everyone wrong, so hopefully he'll prove me wrong too. Yeah, just being a part of this progression is really uplifting, not just to me, but my whole family. And of course, it's all so. We'll be right. Big shot, big shot. Yeah. Did you see it going? was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.